In this question, we're asked to determine the horizontal and vertical intercepts for each graph. And if there is no intercept, we enter D and E. The horizontal intercept, often referred to as the x-intercept, is where a graph intersects or crosses the horizontal axis. And the vertical intercept, often referred to as the y-intercept, is where a graph intersects or crosses the vertical axis. So looking at our first graph, notice how this line actually passes through the origin. The origin is on both the horizontal and vertical axes, and therefore in this case, both the horizontal and vertical intercepts are the point zero comma zero, the origin. So VI stands for vertical intercept, zero comma zero. HI stands for horizontal intercept, also zero comma zero. Looking at the next graph, starting with the vertical intercept, Notice how the line intersects the vertical axis at this point here with coordinates zero comma one, and the graph intersects the horizontal axis at this point here with coordinates negative three comma zero. So again, the vertical intercept is the point zero comma one, and the horizontal intercept is the point negative three comma zero. Notice our next graph is a horizontal line so looking for the vertical intercept, notice how it crosses the vertical axis at this point here with coordinates zero comma negative 10, but because it's parallel to the horizontal axis, there is no horizontal intercept. So the vertical intercept is the point zero comma negative 10, and because there is no horizontal intercept, we enter D and E for the horizontal intercept. Now for our last graph, starting with the vertical intercept, notice how the line crosses or intersects the vertical axis at this point here. Noticing the scale here, this is the point zero comma negative 25. And the horizontal intercept would be this point here with coordinates 25 comma zero. So the vertical intercept is the point zero comma negative 25 and the horizontal intercept is the point 25, comma, zero. I hope you found this helpful.